You can pick up a pair of reading glasses at the store to help your vision. Now, it's not the only solution and possibly not the best. In October, you can buy hearing aids over the counter. Today, I was looking into how you should approach that situation. Millions of Americans have trouble hearing. The National Institutes of Health says 80% of people who would benefit from hearing aids don't wear them. We'll have patients come in here with a 60% loss that don't perceive a problem. Dr. Cheryl Figliano runs the six Centers for Hearing Care in the Valley. She told me about research which shows untreated hearing loss has health consequences, including a faster rate of cognitive decline. The FDA is allowing over-the-counter hearing aids starting next month. They've been on the market for years. I think the negative is we don't know what's inside these products and they don't require a hearing test. So it would be like me putting your glasses on. That means in certain situations, like being around a lawnmower, the device could just get louder and possibly damage your ear. Dr. Figliano believes a simple hearing test is important before just shoving something in your ear. We had two patients last week that came in that had been putting the appointment off, they weren't hearing well, they had all this anxiety build up that they needed a hearing aid, and we cleaned their ears out and the problem was solved. Hearing aids can be expensive. The over-the-counter models can be bought without an exam, prescription, or even a special fitting by an audiologist. If you feel as though that's what I want to buy is something over the counter, tell us the product you're looking at, come in and get a hearing test and let us at least tell you if it's appropriate or not. Now the over the counter hearing aids may be less expensive, but be sure to look at the fine print. Read the rules if you buy one. Even if you return them, they may keep $500 as a restocking fee.